guys and welcome to the fish room. I'm Rachel O'Leary and it's time for a species spotlight. Now this week I'm going to tell you about another of my favorite little fish and I know I have a lot of favorites but these guys are really unusual. Tucana ichthys tucano or the tucano tetra is an adorable little tetra from Brazil and you may not know this but I have an obsession with epistogrammas and I keep a lot of them and these guys are fantastic as a dither. They're super teeny, super beautiful, kind of hard to get, and just really one of my favorite dithers for epistogrammas. I keep a lot of epistos, and one of the biggest challenges is finding an appropriate dither fish that will help offset some of their aggression during spawning, but also be able to sort of hold their own and add interest to the tank. And I think that Tucana ichthys tucano or the Tucano Tetra is really a great choice. So let's take a look and I'll tell you more about them. Now as you guys can see, these are not the flashiest of fish. They have that brown lateral line, but they have that beautiful, beautiful blue eye. And this is probably because they're found in black water streams. That means that there's tons of leaf litter and driftwood that really stains the water a dark tea color brownish yellow and that bright lamp eye is often found in those conditions. Now these guys are really tiny. They're only at max size three quarters of an inch. So really really petite and they're not found with a whole bunch of other fishes. Now despite their small size I really feel like when kept in good groups this is a fish that holds their own. They're not as shy as some of their counterparts. Though they are definitely maintained though they definitely do best when maintained in groups of eight or more. As I mentioned, they're really, really awesome to house with epistogrammas. They generally inhabit that top third or middle to top third of the aquarium, which means they work really well to sort of distract the cichlids from each other when spawning. And these guys are easy to feed. They'll take flake, they'll take frozen, they'll take small live foods, really anything they can fit in their mouth. So they don't tend to pick on a pistogramma fry. They come from Brazil and they're named after the Tucano Indians and they're found in pretty still water so these are not ones that you would want to put in a heavily filtered aquarium. And while in nature they're not found in areas that have live plants, they do great in a plant of the aquarium. So you can see here they're not really schooling so much as shoaling so you won't get that strong directional movement from them. However, However, they do actively engage with, with each other constantly. In fact, I think these guys are kind of neat because the males set up little territories that they defend. And while I haven't bred these, from what I've been told, the males actually guard the eggs as well, which is kind of unusual for a tetra. They can take a range in pH all the way down to four and up to six and a half. And a temperature range anywhere in the 70s to low 80s. Now these guys are pretty unusual in the hobby. It's probably because they come from Brazil and that also makes them kind of expensive. Ranging from 10 to $20 a fish. In my mind, well worth the expense as they have a really subtle beauty. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning about this little gem. Make sure you stop by my Facebook as well as my website, MissJinx.com, where you can find my upcoming speaking engagements, my current stock list, and information on all things nano. As always, I love to hear feedback from you guys. So if you have a second, let me know below any thoughts, suggestions, or questions that you have.